Michael Butler is a licensed professional engineer employed by a utility company, USA Power. Michael is competent in geotechnical engineering and environmental permitting. Michael's boss, Ben Grace, is not a professional engineer and approaches him with a permit request for one of the company's fossil power plants, Springfield Coal. How's it going? I was good. How you been today? I'm oh, pretty good. You got a second? Yeah, go mind ahead. To, you mind if I sit down? No, go ahead. The uh, reason I came by is I wanted to check and see how that slip circle analysis is going on the uh, on the ash pond down at Springfield Coal. The analysis is going good. The calculation package is almost ready. I think I'm going to issue it tomorrow. Well, that's great. That's great. Uh, but since we've modified the ash pond and the solid waste disposal plan, we're going to have to submit a new request for a solid waste permit. Now, to apply for the solid waste permit, we have to submit a supporting document. Now, our original supporting document only has two sections that need to be modified. Uh, what I need for you to do is to just modify those two sections and, you know, just copy the rest of the document. Doesn't the supporting document require a PE stamp? Uh, yeah, it does. Who prepared the supporting document for the current permit? You know, I don't remember who prepared the original document. We can, uh, should be on the first page here. It looks like uh, Larry Stennett prepared and stamped the document back in 1983. But our original plan hasn't changed. It's too bad Larry's uh, retired a few years ago, not around to look over the document for us. But I'm sure that you can just stamp the document for us. That'll be fine. I'm okay with modifying the two sections, but I'm not comfortable stamping the entire document when I wasn't involved in supervising it. Michael, I just can't have you and several other engineers redo this entire document because we've got to have the permit by the end of next month. There's just not enough time to go back and redo the whole document. Let me think about this. I need to look at the code of ethics because I'm not going to plan stamp anything. Michael reviews NSPE's code of ethics and thinks that the section titled Rules of Practice 2C might apply to his situation. Engineers may accept assignments and assume responsibility for coordination of an entire project and sign and seal the engineering documents for the entire project, provided that each technical segment is signed and sealed only by the qualified engineers who prepared the segment. Later that day, Michael approaches Ben with a possible solution. Hey Ben. Yeah. I think I solved our problem on the waste disposal permit. Really? That's great. Well, what are we going to do? I decided to add a revision log to the original supporting document. And I'm only going to stamp the sections of that document that I modified. I think that's ethical according to Code of Ethics, Rules of Practice 2C. Hey, that sounds great to me. And it saves the company a lot of money, too. Good job, Michael. 